Hello gang, I'm your host Crystal Turner Brightman and welcome back to another episode of Loose Lips on Lockdown, the talk show with a twist where special guests get to buzz in and express themselves in ways unique to them. On Loose Lips is our mission to keep it light-hearted and accessible, so don't worry about any big scary questions on the big C. Anyone can tune in and learn about our current climate. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to our special guest today. Buzzing in first is Marcus, an engineer from Norway. Welcome, Marcus. So, obviously, you guys are doing things a little bit differently from the UK. So, could you tell us a bit about how things are working in Norway? Where I live, people are not really affected by the virus. But the stores have started to have signs with one metre apart rule and the cashiers have a glass in front of them for protection. Thank you so much for the insight, Marcus. Now everybody, are you ready to see Marcus's unique way of expressing himself during lockdown? Yeah! Corona started, haven't thought about it much. It affects us all. Electric and work, two people in the same room, we have to wear gloves. I miss all the stores, open before, had to close. Eating ice cream. Uh. Thank you so much, Marcus. It's so fascinating to know how other countries are coping. Different cities have different rules. There is not allowed to go to the cabin you own if it's in another city. That's something you can get a £1,500 fine for. And rightly so. We have to stay safe. Give it up for Marcus, everybody! Buzzing in next is Amber Turner-Brightman, a politics student from Southampton with a passion for art. <laughs> Hi Amber. Before we start, can you tell me a little bit about how you've been finding isolation so far? Being home has been strange but comfortable. Relationships have changed in that. We've had to shift our relationship online. I found during lockdown many people are isolated, keeping their heads down, etc. People are a lot less social and more cautious, crossing the road to avoid others, etc. This makes sense, but people won't even chat or even smile slash make eye contact, which is strange. It really is strange times indeed. A lot is changing, but it's important to keep positive. Speaking of positive, are you guys ready to see Amber's unique way of expressing herself during lockdown? <laughs> I really love the first painting you showed us. Could you tell us all a little bit more about it? Is it to do with a relationship of yours? Marjia, yeah. time apart has made us appreciate each other more. Aww. And the last one you showed us, what's that one all about? The freedom to just wander outside. I don't think any of us realised what a privilege that was, lol. Thank you for your honesty, Amber. Is there anything else you'd like to add before you go? Stay the f*** indoors! The quicker we flatten the curve, the quicker quarantine ends. Oh my god! To end the show, let me introduce you to upcoming artist Rosie Mellet, who is currently studying in London with her brand new single, Now Home Safe. So I've been home for four weeks, and yet it feels like last month was last week. Time moved slow, but the days pacing by. I found it pretty easy with my family by my side. We seem stronger than ever, and it's a bad thing to say, but honestly, I'm caught up in how I can feel this way. When there's people hurting and lives over in a blip, but somehow my bubble is still strong and positive. Sure, there's a strain with my boyfriend, but it's really not too hard. It's different missing someone when they're near and not far, or just getting through together. How could we complain? I thank the people who are fighting while well, I'm just home safe. Now I'm home safe. I'm home safe. Feeling stupid lucky I have a garden. My daily routine consists of relaxing in the sun, then a few drinks, or maybe more, a home-cooked meal to thank my mum for, a virtual pub quiz in a DIY pub, about a thousand FaceTimes where the Wi-Fi gives up, yet yeah, I'm suddenly grateful for what I never knew I had, 
and though I miss the people, it isn't all that bad. I know it sounds obnoxious when the world is losing hope, but at least I'm well aware of my privilege here at home. Look at all these people, disconnect to protect them today, surely we can see it's just best to get home now safe. I'm home safe. Now I'm home safe.